We have some new details on a crash that killed two young brothers. They were only 9 and 11 years old. The woman behind the wheel, according to police, the wife of a world-renowned plastic surgeon. NBC4's Gordon Tokamatsu is live in Westlake Village with more on the story for us. Gordon? Yeah, Colleen, some disturbing allegations here in Westlake Village tonight. A well-known and respected philanthropist now arrested in what deputies are calling a hit-and-run accident. Earlier in the day, there were rumors connected to this accident. Street racing, a speeding car striking and killing two little boys in a crosswalk. Last night, News Chopper 4 found a Mercedes with front end damage not far away, a female being questioned by deputies. But by this afternoon, the entire station is abuzz right now because of this. Some of the rumors had evolved into confirmation, a story that Captain Salvador Vaceta says is a shock to the entire community of Westlake Village. We've arrested Rebecca Grossman, female white, 57, um, for two counts of vehicular manslaughter. She's being held $2 million bail. Part of the recovery is... Rebecca Grossman is a well-known and well-connected philanthropist. She's the wife of Dr. Peter Grossman, whose family founded the world-renowned Grossman Burn Center. She's co-founder of a foundation that benefits the center and has served as its spokeswoman. This is footage of an interview with her, which aired on NBC4 in 2016. Oh, no. It's the Grossman Burn Center. Residents who've been coming by here today, like Evan Forster, are stunned by the news. He says he had dinner with one of her relatives just a few weeks ago. She's a great lady. Oh, that's just horrible. Details of the investigation are as bizarre as they are troubling. Deputies say the two boys, aged 9 and 11, were within the marked crosswalk with two other children and two adults. They believe the car that struck them was being driven by Grossman. But another one appears to have been involved as well. Two cars were racing. Um, we believe speed is a factor, alcohol is a factor. Esetta told us the other vehicle and its driver have not been located, and there's no description of either being released. We asked him if Grossman knows who that person is. Does she cooperate? She's not talking to us, no. Back here live where you can see people gathering here, flowers and cards they're leaving behind, paying respects off uh, Triunfo Canyon Road where this happened. NBC4 has reached out to various offices and numbers connected to the Grossman family for comments. So far, our calls have not been returned. Live in Westlake Village, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.